I'm Keith Bucknell. I studied at Plymouth University an MSc in social research and thoroughly enjoyed it. I had a nervous breakdown way back in 2002. I changed from being a sort of a successful uh, employee in a bank to being somebody who couldn't get out of bed in the mornings. I'd reached a point where I, I dreaded going to work. And I, I was working in Cornwall and living in Ivy Bridge and driving that journey every day. It was about an hour. I spent that in the car and it wasn't therapeutic at all. All I was doing was thinking sad, negative thoughts and it's quite crushing. And I was a salesman, therefore I needed to be on the best form to be able to do my job. And I found one time I was sitting in a car park just before I went into the bank branch and I just couldn't get out of the car. And I phoned my wife and said, what do I do? She said, well, stay in the car until you feel a bit better. And those times I had reached the point where when I finally woke up one morning and thought, I just can't, can't do it anymore. After 23 years, it's a huge admission to suddenly say I can't do this you know I'm, I'm rubbish and it's and the whole world just collapses I couldn't go out I spent I was much happier being sort of snuggled under a duvet away from everything I couldn't make decisions and I had no no real benchmark to, to to build the day on I was off sick for a year and during that time I had to go and see psychiatrists, psychologists, and had to get signed off by the GP every month. At the end of it, I was retired on ill health, and I've been retired for, well, 12, 13 years now. The changes it brings upon your life and on the way that you do things is quite massive, and your whole routine and pattern has changed. And you've suddenly got no pattern because you've, you've got no purpose. As time goes by, you find that things can get slightly easier as you get used to it and with medication and with therapy that can really help. I came to university to do a master's degree looking at social research, looking at spirituality and dementia and needed the support of the, the Learning Gateway and the Student Support Network and uh, they were fantastic um, to actually start academia again after a break of about five, six years. Um, to know that I could still do it and still actually write and think critically and, and be academic was really important and it boosted my self-confidence. And I think that's why I'm here for students who come with anxieties, with depressions, with whatever mental health conditions it is, to know that they've got somebody who actually still believes in them is, is worth a million dollars, you know, it's, it's so important.